So, Kim, here's your second tree. What do you, how do you think that's going to look in your garden? It's beautiful. Honestly, I always want one, Chris. It's done a, you've done a really great job, you know, yeah. kind of bring it from Brisbane back to Melbourne, right? Yeah. In Melbourne, it's only a small tree, so right? I yeah. always want an adult, you know. Yeah. Chris, thank you very much. You know, yeah, much appreciated for delivering it. You know, my wife will be, I love that, you know. Yeah, yeah she now, will love. You've got one of the best private gardens I've ever seen. Can you give us a little peek? Yes, I'll go, I'll, go, I'll take you guys for a tour. Hopefully it will interest you guys. Yeah. This garden, it took us almost two years to build. We tried to achieve Mother Nature's looks, okay? So it's behind these hidden gems, okay? I'll take you Let's, let's go have a look. Yeah. Color taking off, doesn't it? Yeah, start yeah. taking it off the flowers and all that, yeah. yeah. And grass and weed, that's about it. Oh, yeah. Amazing. And over here, this is the best Bougainvillea bonsai I've yes. ever seen. Tell us about that. This Bougainvillea, right? This Bougainvillea is out in Port C and out in St Andrews, Port C, and it grew about 100 meters long along someone's wow. fence. It took us about two months to dig it out. Right, when we dug it out, right, we've got to make a big pot for it and yep. then we cut it slowly, slowly, right, and put it in the pot. Wow. Right, so uh, a month ago, it gave a really nice deep purple flowers. All yeah. you see is just flowers, right, all you see is just flowers. And it took t 10 men to lift it up from the ground up into the stump there, where it is, yeah. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think it's about at least 80, 90 years old by the look right. of it. Yes, that's right. Yep. So I've got a similar Bougainville as that one, which is like a dragon shape, right? Yep. Again, right, that's uh, out in uh, St. Andrew's Way. So uh, what I did, uh, we, we all dug it up, so I hand carved it and make a nice shape, which has been out in the wildlife for a long time. Yeah, yeah it really is very, very yeah. beautiful. And we, even all these cedars and all that, right, it, which has been dug out as well. Yeah, so yeah. I've been collecting for about 20, 20 something years. Wow, right. we've got some beautiful trees. I love this big blue cedar up here. Yeah, that's right, yes. yeah. So I like the pine and cedars, especially the whipping cedars. So what I try to achieve, uh, that young cedars in a similar format as the whipping cedars there. Yeah. But by the time that will get to this, I'm probably in the ground already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I right. love cedar trees too. My dad used to have me climbing trees that you could barely see the, the car was like a matchbox at the bottom picking the seed. Yeah. And he'd grow them and graft the weeping cedar and the blue cedar. So most, the of trees, yeah, most of these trees, yeah, most of these trees in here is about 60, 70, 80 years old. That cedar tree, I bought it from Sydney from a for my, for my widow, right. Right. all right? Her husband gave it to her when she was 21. Wow. And it was in the same pot, and now she's 80. Wow. Right. And she gave it to her daughter. Her daughter put it on um, eBay, right? And I bought it, right? And she was here last month to build her tree, right? Wow. Right, so it, it's in the same pot, right? Yeah. In the same position for 60 years. Incredible. Yes. So oh. as you see, there's movements there, the box, the, the, the beauty of it. Okay? Yeah, yeah, it really is a lovely tree. Yeah, that's right, yes. Yeah, yeah a person could spend all day here looking at this garden. Really beautiful. So everything here, it was all cranes in, right? So what we did, we crane, we built, right? We escalate all the soils. We, did, we developed the rocks, the patterns, and all the trees here, we crane in with a spider crane, with an overhead crane, with a fork. Right, so it would take a lot of manpower and machine and equipment to develop what it is, right? Yeah. So humans, we only well, we only can carry little plants and plants, but all everything was trained in properly. Yeah, there was yes. thousands of tons of rock here, isn't there? I, exactly, yes. I think there's about 60 or 70,000 tons of rock. Wow. Right, the slate rocks, yes. So everything was hand laid with cranes, with a smaller crane, yeah. Yeah, I was just admiring that black pine up there. That's a beauty, isn't it? 
Is this one of your better bonsais? Yeah, that's a bonsai tree. That's been with me about almost 28 years. That's very beautiful. And you see the bark there, the cracking. Yeah, yeah it's got beautiful bark. Yeah, and it's beautiful got yeah, movements yeah. as yeah. well. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yes. Yeah, even the branches are all perfect. Yeah, that's right. It's perfectly balanced as well. Yeah. Yes. Through that path there, you see some other bonsai along the walking path. Yeah. yeah. Have a walk down this path down here. See how your tree to start the pine start to develop it? Yeah. yeah. So I've got what I do, I'm gonna train it over this side a bit. Yeah. yeah. So we wait until it stabilizes uh, the root uh, the root balls, right? And then uh, I'll, I'll I'll train it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's got the makings of a beautiful tree. Yes. So this will be a nice featured tree. All right. So we wait, we wait until the root ball establish. And then I'll take the uh, the pole out, and then we'll, I'll, I'm going to train it with wire. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes, that's it. I love microcarbon. That's a beautiful tree. That, 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 with the oh yeah, that's, that's right. With the, the yes, message. that's right. Yes. Really nice. Thank you very much for showing us your garden. It's absolutely wonderful. Thank you for coming. Man. Thank yeah. you for coming down. So it's beautiful. Yeah, it's hey, well, like a piece of art. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Like and follow for more.